When making decisions about how long we continue the antiestrogen therapies, uh, we have to think a little bit differently about tamoxifen, uh, which is mainly used in the premenopausal population, versus the aromatase inhibitors, which are the main class of drugs used in the postmenopausal population. When we extend tamoxifen, we know that the side effects that we can see in the first five years just get magnified. And those side effects, such as blood clots in the leg, blood clots that can go to the lung called a pulmonary embolism, uh, uterine cancer, cancer of, of the uterus can increase. And the longer you're on tamoxifen, the more the risk for these drugs. Now, if you're still premenopausal, those risks are low. But we've shown in, in prevention trials of tamoxifen that the longer that you're on this, these drugs and the older you are, the more postmenopausal you are, you're not making your own estrogen or progesterone, the more the risks for these potentially serious but rare side effects, blood clots and um, uterine cancer can occur. So that's tamoxifen. For the aromatase inhibitors, they work by suppressing every last bit of estrogen in your body. So your postmenopausal, your ovaries aren't working, but actually we do still make a little bit of estrogen indirectly through our adrenal glands when we're postmenopausal. And so when we knock down every last bit of estrogen, we can accelerate bone loss and osteoporosis and fractures. Um, we also can have changes to cholesterol, interestingly. The, the good cholesterol can go down, HDL, the bad cholesterol can go up. It's more like a male profile of cholesterol. And since many women who are thinking about extended duration aromatase inhibitors are more likely to die of cardiovascular disease than their breast cancer, it's really important that we're taking into account what we're doing to their their heart disease risk with their cholesterol as well. Um, hot flashes, night sweats, things like that with the aromatase inhibitors, joint aches, um, those are all things that can continue. They, they're seen in the first five years and they just don't get any better if you keep staying on the drugs.